Like, I had a caption, Pitsy Pitsy Pumpkin Eater. I think my head will fit in that. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, when you... <laughs> Mine is terrible. <laughs> Day one of renovations and painting. We're going to start in the kitchen area. Everything's literally a dump right now. Um, this is the table where we're going to dump all of our stuff on while we're painting. That is my chai tea over there. And then these are all of our paint options down here. We picked Stonington Gray for the main color of the house. This stuff to put as a primer because we have naughty walls and also for our kitchen cabinets and then we just have like generic white for the cabinets so yeah we're gonna stir in the kitchen and then probably move over here and prime all of this Alright, so I've primed the top part of the cabinets and stuff with this because it's a little greasy. So we're going to have to clean it off a little bit before we put the, the primer on. But we're not doing the inside. So obviously for the kitchen cabinets, it's just going to be this white stuff. So I'm going to start on these drawers now. And then we're going to move on to these. And then while the backs of these are drying, we're going to move on to the exterior stuff. And hopefully we can get a lot done.
voiceover newt here so i'm going to just narrate the rest of this video just kind of showing you what we're doing and stuff like that so this was the entryway it was completely wrecked mr newt actually had to redo this whole area and re-put like a new piece of wood on it this is just showing some asbestos tile it was all throughout the bottom part of this house it was throughout the top part too but not as bad and this is the entryway. Once Mr. Newt finished it, he put on a new piece of wood there and skimmed it. And this is just a bunch of self-leveler that we had to put throughout the entire house. I think Mr. Newt said we had to use around like 400 pounds of it just to level out different corners of the house that were sagging and just, uh, cause you can't have sagging corners when you are putting floor on cause it's just not going to work. Um, and we primed the rest of the house so this is just prime that you see on the walls there. More subfloor that we had to put down. Again, all in the hopes to make it as even as possible. There's a bunch of holes we had to fill in on the walls. This was the living room floor. And then upstairs, um, this little hallway here was pretty bad. We had to do, Mr. Newt had to do a bit of renovating on that to get it better. And then all this asbestos tile up here, which we had to cover up. Currently, none of this tile is showing in the entire house, which is awesome. And I'll have video of the clips of that in my next video of the completed everything, completed floors, which will be pretty exciting. But yeah, this is the bedroom and the spare room with just the asbestos tile, no carpet. And then this is when we finish painting it. I absolutely love this paint color. This is a Stonington Gray. I think it really lightens up the house. And you can see we got subfloor everywhere. Everywhere is fairly level or level enough to be able to put the flooring on and stuff like that. And just zooming out a little bit so you can see kind of the general areas better. But yeah, this um, paint color I think was a really good choice for this house. It's gonna look really good too once the stairs are done and they're like white and it's just gonna flow really well. We also painted the trim white and that door to the right there to the basement that got painted white as well. And just subfloor, self-leveler everywhere. And here's Mr. Newt installing our floor, which we love. This flooring was really good. It was a really good color choice for what was going on in the house. I think it flowed really well with the walls. I tried to help out with the flooring as much as I could, but honestly, Mr. Newt was the the floor champion here. Isn't it so pretty? I just love all the different variations in it. It's just really nice. We ended up having to put some more self level down the kitchen because after Mr. Newt took the stove out, it was a little uneven down there, so he had to kind of fix that before he could put this flooring on. And then this was some cove base that we just put down in the kitchen just to kind of cover up the ugliness underneath the cabinets there. And then this was the hallway that we were going to work on next. It took us like a while to get this because there was a height difference between the main area and the hallway. We had to kind of... Mr. Rue had to eyeball it to make sure it was absolutely looked even if you were looking straight down through the hallway because of the height difference there. And he got it like dead on. So you can see it's, it's like, nice. it looks really good. 
We had to put transitions in all these doorways, which I'll show in my next video. So yeah, that's the end of phase one. We got a lot done, but nothing was completed in this video. But I'll have clips in my next video of a lot of the finished looks of everything and us unpacking and putting everything together. So I'll see you in another video. Bye.